I'm going to be doing a quick video going over the cost to build the rooftop tent trailer. One thing I do want to say is you can do this cheaper than I did it. Um, I kind of just wanted to do top of the line parts all the way across the board. So it did not save money there. Um, so if it's not worth it to you to do that, you can obviously save a lot of money in certain areas and I will kind of highlight uh, where that'll be. So obviously we'll start with the metal. For this, of course, this is all going to depend on market prices. Uh, you're welcome to pause, check out the totals here. It was about $1,420 total for the metal. Um, that was including those metal fenders, the hitches, the all the tube, all the little pieces of flat bar, the two by three I got. And also these prices are also up because I had to buy stock size. So I had to buy two 24 foot lengths, so 48 feet. Um, and then I had to buy three 24 foot lengths, so 72 foot, um, and I had left over. So you look at the cost and it looks like a lot, but you will have some leftover stuff. Same with the aluminum. So going on to the suspension, uh, the Timberins 108534. Obviously, if you did a regular axle, you're looking at close to $200 for regular axle. Um, and then of course some hubs, you're probably gonna pay around the same price. So maybe $400 instead of $1,200 for the suspension. You can save a ton of money there. Obviously, you can see suspension alone is $1,277. So that plus the metal alone already, already puts you up there quite a bit. Wheels and tires, you could get some used ones on, you know, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, wherever, um, and save a lot of money. I got those two steel wheels from Amazon for $194.02. Um, and then, of course, I got some tires, and that totaled up to be $500. So you can see it adds up quick as you start getting stuff. As far as the lighting and electrical goes, those are just those orange amber lights up front, those tail lights, and that's a pretty good price for the tail lights because it comes with both those lights in each of those boxes and the metal boxes. So 46 bucks for that unit, really not bad at all. Wiring harness, 14 bucks, not bad. Um, and then miscellaneous heat shrink, the sheathing and all that stuff. So about 100 bucks to wire up the trailer. As far as paint goes, I wish I would have just ordered a big case of steel to begin with. I could have saved some money there. I was ordering it in set to two, which was like 68 bucks each or something like that. So roughly $200 to coat the frame. Uh, mineral spirits, just a quart of that, you know, 12 bucks. Raptor liner, those jugs, I got one of those. It was two quart jugs, which is what I used to coat the bed. Um, so that's really not a lot bad. I already had the spray gun, um, so I saved a little money there. The adhesive promoter, 20 bucks. I'd say that's definitely necessary. The VHB tape's also a little expensive, but that stuff's again, awesome. Uh, you can see total there, 351.44. So as far as the stuff for the tailgate and rack, the lift struts, they were Amazon about $72.38. And then strut mounting studs, about another 21 bucks. So roughly $80 in the lift struts for the rack. Uh, those pull pins were $11 each and I had a total of six on the trailer. So about 60 bucks. And tailgate cables, the Tacoma tailgate cables, like 12 bucks, so pretty cheap. Uh, so 162 as far as the hit setup goes uh the weld on tongue jack was like 60 bucks that's kind of what you're going to pay for one of them safety cables 20 bucks pretty cheap uh, and then the hitch this is another area you can save a whole lot of money the lock and roll is pretty expensive that trailer side was 150 bucks uh, in reality you could go to track supply and get a standard tongue uh, that goes over a regular uh, ball hitch for like 20 bucks so big savings there and then same with the truck side you could get a hitch for the back of your truck for you know 60 bucks or so so you can save a whole lot of money there. Going on to the hardware, this is all your consumables, grinding discs, drill bits, just random supplies, uh, towels, welding gas, welding wire. Uh, as you can see, that ends up adding up to be quite a bit. Uh, kind of an unexpected expense. I knew it was gonna cost quite a bit, but I wasn't quite expecting it. All right, so uh, we're gonna move on to the grand total, which I will admit was way more than I expected, but I think it's worth it with how it turned out. And like I said, there's plenty of ways you can save money. Grand total was about $4,656.74. That's kind of rough, maybe a little bit up and down from there. Some of that stuff I kind of already had, but I still priced it out and figured it into this. So, and then of course, time spent, I spent probably roughly, you know, 60 hours working on it. Uh, probably another 10 hours editing the video, um, and then endless hours researching what I was gonna do from the beginning. So a lot of time and a lot of money put into this trailer, but you can do it differently, save a lot of money where you want. Um, and actually considering doing a budget build video next, uh, cause not everybody wants to spend that much money on a trailer. I didn't want to spend that much money on a trailer. So just to go back over what we can do, you can get a 3,500 pound standard axle, 200 sub $200. 
uh, some hubs for about 100 bucks, trailer towing $20, regular hitch 60 bucks. Uh, you could tub it out with wood, that would save you quite a bit. I know the price of wood is up right now, um, but it would still be cheaper than the aluminum. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video, ask me questions. I will answer them as soon as I can and the, to the best of my ability. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at adv.4 by 4 And you're welcome to DM me there, ask me questions, comment on the pictures, whatever you see. Uh, I'd love to help you however I can. So once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.